What's up, guys? Live here at Pro Play Games with team captain and sponsor player Eddie St. Lair. What's up, bro? What'd you top with? I topped the game, guys, with Vegeta. So nice. this is a new build. I don't want to bore you guys with the old build. The whole theory behind this was with the Goku engine, it was kind of slow because I take a lot of 10k boosts that actually cost one, so it clogs up and let the cell drop you. But the idea, I'm going to explain it throughout the deck profile. It's a whole bunch of free 5k drops and you hit them with double strike. You put the pressure on them versus them putting the pressure on you. So without further ado, let's get in deck profile. So I replaced the Goku engine with this beautiful wife of mine. That's my Bulma. Essentially, the whole theory behind it is you want to grab, you want to use your Bulma's first turn to grab this guy, uh, Hope Light Trunks. The whole theory behind Hope Light Trunks, I'm gonna get into it later. This combo is well with objection because once you have five energy and you start to crit with Vegeta, not only is he 20k, but also Vegeta and also your chopper will make him 30, so they can't just jock with you and sit and laugh. So moving on to the next card, it's gonna be the four Hope Light Trunks. So these are two proxies. I still won with them. Don't ask me how, but. These are usually two energy, and this these are two that I usually play with. Because on turn three or turn four, you should be at five energy. Once you're at five energy, you start critting with Vegeta. You hit him with Vegeta. Once they get to one, once they get to two life, it's there at Lethal. Because he could swing with this and start comboing out with uh, Chompa for further destruction. So moving on to the next card. It didn't go to Bulma the God Tempter. So I tried something new. I actually tried Objection because I want to give a shout out to Danny Hype, which said Objection was MVP. It's kind of good, but uh, I still don't like it. But it, it did the job today. So essentially with Objection, let's you play this card on turn three, which is pretty good. And I also like this because it's a blocker. So those decks that can't self-awaken, you want to punish them and say, since you're not going to awaken, I'm going to slap you in the face because you shouldn't be playing that deck. But besides that, moves on to the next card. Which is the Majin Buu. Majin Buu is, I mean, I'm not gonna say anything about it. It's four one for one cards. You put it into free 5k boost, and your sense of beans later will untap you. So, moving on to my next fighter, it's going to be the actual Beerus himself. So, with Beerus, I just like him personally for the cell because once that seven draw cell hits, you don't want to combo over it. You really want to just Beerus it, and once you Beerus it, attack the leader. Like, put pressure on it. It's a whole object at this point. You put pressure on the leader, you keep your hand size low. By the time they cell loop you, it's too late, and they already lost the game. Moving on, I'm just going to skip over this. This is the free 10k boost. Ooh, yeah, it's, <laughs> if you don't play this, I don't know. But. You have further instruction, Chaba, or Chompa. The reason the philosophy behind this is goes to the idea with the trunks. Once you have five energy, Vegeta will be at 20. And the thing they don't realize is once you want ejection and Vegeta's at 25, the trunks will put him at 30. If you, all you, you don't even have 10k boost anymore. All you gotta do is combo one time with him, you're gonna have a 40k Vegeta double strike just off one card, which it's totally insane, guys. And it legitly it mills your hands. I was so scared to play it because I don't like playing with low hand size. You guys know me from my Goku deck. I love having hand size, but Cell is scary as it sounds so next card it's this right here i keep telling people cell is a good deck but i feel as androids are a deck to play androids is the same thing except they could swing at you they could give you all the cards put in your hand and then sell loop you people will finally start to realize once they play the androids itself androids awaken on turn six and on turn four you can swing three times you could swing untap with 17 swing untap with 18 and swing again and then sell loop the next turn this card wrecks androids if you're playing against ganyu or androids you will not lose with this card it's, it's too good i'm gonna go back to four Next card is Ultimate Judgment Jocko. I'm seriously considering, I, I don't know, I'm having like 50-50 mixed feelings on this because it's good against Vegeta, but it's with Cell running around, it's just a free 5k boost, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I love this guy so much that I actually decided to play next card, <laughs> going on to Objection. It's really good. I, I'm just thankful I seen it today, early games, besides the one game, which is, it's kind of rough. But at, at least you only got free energy, so I'm not gonna say anything about this. I wouldn't play it again. Sensibly, this is really the MVP of the deck. This, well, this the 10 Ks. You already know how I do. I love Goku cards, but Sensibly, it really takes you out of top situations, and it's really good, especially when you're pushing it for a game. If you Sensibly, like on a Beerus, I, today I had Sensibly on a Beerus. I still lost, but the whole theory behind it: if I drop four Sensibly's on a Beerus, you cannot jock with these cards, even though they're in a combo area. Once you combo with them, they go to the drop area. So if you just use this, they can't jock with it. So you're gonna waste your jock because they have to go ahead and max out for the 10 Ks. And with the Sensibly, you untap. So if you untap you can go back and summon guys like this to push their face in or you could go ahead and summon actual beers to push their face in, which is really good and last but not least i was not a fan of this card but i'm not gonna lie i was dumb i actually wisened up now it's we scoring we scoring is really good because you have to stop that cell attack when they try to attack you and sit there try to boost you up you do not want to add those cards because you will get cell loot and it hurts bro trust me it, last weekend i got destroyed because of the cell i thought i was gonna be dug in on them but i actually got dug in on so it's really rough so you have to play it for it so 
tomorrow, me and Marcel, the newest member of our team, we're gonna go to Kissimmee. We're gonna try to actually win another one. And tomorrow, if we do good, well, if I do good, I know he's gonna do well because he's just a phenomenal player. And I think this is his format. As I, I'll play around with it and see what, what I can do with this format. But he's really killing this format. He's really, I think he's the player to beat right now. But tomorrow I'm gonna go back to a Goku build, and if I do well, I'll go ahead and profile the game. So I have an idea of what can actually beat Self. It's 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 really good, guys. But besides that. This another win another win for PPG oh yeah and then this goes to the question of PPG and we also have winner sleeves also so yeah another one is added to PPG man you guys should really come check us out come down here tell me if you guys are doing real good you think you're good come down here like Marcel did you play over here you dominate our players you'll get on the team it's it's no question about it you show your skills here it's perfect all right ARGs when the ARGs start up Definitely make sure you show out there. Make sure you copy your PPG apparel on our Facebook store and you'll be able to rep us and you'll be able to get that foot in the door just like Marcelo did. So thank you again, Eddie. Much more success in the future, hopefully. And good luck tomorrow, man. All right, thanks. Bye.